Okay, so uh, when we connect the geothermal pipes down here, as you see at the bottom here, what we do after we connect them is we put water in the basin here. If you get close, you can see the water in there. So we now put water here to make sure that we have no leaks in the connection between the geothermal pipes and the basin. Yeah, so here we are digging a trench, <coughs> digging a trench for supplying water into the capillary basins. On top of this, we should have the liner, uh, and the water comes from this basin over here. And uh, we're gonna divide this area in two basins with a divider on the middle and that's the next step there.
right now we're installing the boot inside the liner so that it keeps the input line and the closed system watertight. So there's a boot that goes around the pipe and we glue on the outside. This yep. piece gets glued here and then there are bands that wrap around this to keep this tight and glued so it's watertight. So that this complete system is still sealed. So this is where the water supply line is into the actual system. Alright, so uh, this is the installation second phase where we have already pushed the geothermal pipe in the ground four feet below the finished surface. And right now we have put the uh, liner in place. We've connected the liner to the pipes that will be connected to the basin. And uh, right now we're placing the gravel on top of the uh, liner inside the cavity, inside the two sections. And you can see the divider. The divider that, that divides the two sections where we have the water changing, the changing water table. That divider is about four inches above the concrete, four inches into the root zone. And the root zone is going to be eight inches, so we don't let the divider go all the way up to the surface of the grass. If it's a T, we don't have to worry about cup setting. If it's a green, we have more root zone. But all in all, the important thing is to have the divider uh, be able to go up, go up higher than we, we will ever have the water table go up, so the water never spills over to the other section. But um, yeah, right now we're getting ready for the capillary material to come in and be placed on top of the gravel. Now, putting the capillary in, put it in at two inches, and then we lightly roll it to press those top stones down so they get a nice, uh, nice connection with the stones below. So when the concrete sets up, that's the bond point, so everything's nice and even. So we need to have the capillary material exact at the same height all over the T area to be sure that the water will do its work exactly the same over the whole surface. <laughs> 